Okay, I'm about to play another 3 plus 2 plus game. So E4. Let's play the Sicilian. Uh, let's play like uh, the numbers of which Sicilian. Running the bone structure. Okay, I don't have a bishop pay, but I have uh, a good position. My, my opponent's weaknesses here. Yeah. I will pick up a pawn. I'll pick up another pawn. And then I'll play like e6. My b7 pawn is quite weak, but. It's manageable. I have to be careful now though because of... Okay, the g7 pawn is never issued because the king is on g2. If I have a bishop g7, I have rook g8, rook g8. So, it's not an issue. I can just go bishop e7. Bishop b7, maybe even f6, king f7, because I don't <coughs> want to keep the king so far in. Okay, break and play, rook c8. Just defend. Maybe even, um, <coughs> sorry, bishop f6. Bishop f6, g f6. Not a bad problem. Not a bad move. Not a bad move. Bishop a6, bishop a3, uh, that's a thing. Castles might be. Castles rook d7. And then uh, I have to play like rook f8. Yeah, it's not, a, not, a, not an ideal move to play. I'll go bishop f6, bishop f3, we repeat once and then I'll come up with a plan. And yeah, I thought this was gonna happen. You know, f5 doesn't look like a bad move, just forcing a potential exchange. 
just to reduce the number of pieces on the board. Rook d8, let's exchange pieces. Every piece is a rook, let's say just one rook. Okay. Okay, I see I have a weakness. Okay. Let me take this off the board, push. Bishop f6. King e7, rook d8. I didn't see this, I didn't see this move. I don't I don't really want to play on um, like, like G6. It's a bit unstable. He's gonna take and then take my pawn. Uh, let's go. You wanna go into a bishop in game? Is it worth it? Uh, let's find out. I love in games. It's always an opportunity to learn. He's gonna play bishop b8, and I play rook a5. I go after the a2 pawn. He's gonna play rook c7. I play king e6. I push the pawn. If I can get the pawn to a3, I'm all sorted. Six. Not a problem. Just defend the pawn. I must be careful though. Mm, okay. I mean, bit of a problem. Bit of a problem, yeah. I have to depart. I have to depart with the pawns. I miss this completely. I'm losing this a5 pawn as well. Okay. Um, never mind. I thought I was going to play rook e5, king f6, and then bishop d4. If he plays king f3. Must be quite careful here. Yeah. Oh, I must. I should have played rook d1 instead of rook h8. Oh, 
Call the nerves, the nerves. I have to promote a kiss. Yeah, I missed this up. I really missed it up. But he's giving me hope. He's giving me hope. Could have won the rook. I just must have. I could have won the whole rook. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is a crazy game. I can't believe I just must have the whole rook. There has to be a checkmate here, man. There has to be a checkmate. Give the bishop for free as well. Again. I can't believe I don't know how to win these in games. There we go. Let's go. That was crazy. Oh man. I missed the old rookie here for free. I was like, no, I want to play this in game. Yeah. Oh, wait, when did I miss it? I thought I must use it. Why not just rook g7? I realized, why, why, why am I, why am I letting this slip out of my hands here? But yeah, I know how to win bishop in game. If my opponent makes a mistake, so at least something good happened today. Yeah, there's a insane game. Oh, it could have been, it could have ended how many moves ago? Almost thirty moves ago, twenty-seven. But uh, it took my opponent to make a mistake. We're both playing an increment, so got a bit fortunate there, just like yesterday's game. Yeah. I said a slip somewhere uh, with um, h7 to h6, just creating a weakness. I, I always have to hang on to my g6 pawn. 
Yeah, I don't know why I did that. I thought I was gonna go h6 and then g6 to g5, like a pawn break. But if I if I, if I go g6 to g5, there's always rook a6, and then the h6 pawn is hanging. So I don't know what was going on in my mind. But um, first time I ever played the Nimzovich Sicilian. I like it because it's, it's like a mix between the Sicilian defense and the Alakine defense. And I play both. It's um, it's nice. It's really nice. So let me analyze the game. The opening is not that important. He gave me a free pawn. And I got a nice position. Two pawns up in the opening. But he had a lot of compensation. I think... Bishop f6 immediately. Yeah, I was, I was a bit scared of the open file. I wouldn't want to play this that position that occurred now. Minus 2. Rook c5. Trading off. Mm. Whoa, it's not that bad of a move. Yeah, it's not not bad, not bad at all. I thought it was just bad for me. So I should have marched up to the pawn, leave my pawns on the king side, and just march and put all my attention on the a3 pawn, on the a pawn, so that I can get promoted or exchange it for one of white's pieces. Okay, that's that's interesting. I was a bit hesitant about it. It's a blunder. What is that? King g3. I don't understand King g3. I said even King g3. So I have to play rook d1 to defend the bishop. Maybe I just need time to be able to figure the position out. But yeah, I knew I was winning. Or at least I was going to promote the pawn. Wow, to draw. Okay, so what I should have done was block with the bishop. And what if rook a8? Rook a8. Bishop f6. Give me a check. King f7. Pawns promoting. There's rook, there is rook f7. What about rook? What's after rook f7? I equals queen. And then I'm just upper rook. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't see that. So it's equal now. He gave me the pawn and I thought, okay, I can maybe win this. I've read a lot of, um, I've read about Bishop in games in Drovetsky's in-game manual. The fast track edition. It's mating 8. Yeah, Rook G7, that's what I must, I knew that. Yeah, but I had to grind this one out. Like Magnus Carlsen. King G6. Just the mating five was that equal mating fifteen. So I should have waited. Oh, king h yeah. rook h seven, king e eight, rook h eight, king d seven, rook b eight. Pick up the rook, mating four. There we go. Hundred and seven moves. One of the longest games I've ever played, and it was a good learning experience. I want to thank everyone for watching the video to the, to the end. If you've managed to come here, thank you so much. And I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something as well. Goodbye.